53 miles now. It's a MiG-29, has some fire in the missiles, it's just coming right at us. Almost 1,000 knots closure. So, it's going kind of going down a little. Now, let's go back to your jet, number one, two, and there he is. You're going... You are almost flying level, he's coming down. So basically you're gonna go up, turn left and see if we can get actually because he's going kinda to your right. You're gonna do it to the right. I think he'll work better. But either or you should work any anyway. So let's see if it works. Here we go. Let me just That's all I can show you. You can try the other maneuvers, but it's up to you. Now this other maneuver is called rolling and pulling out. This graphic shows the rolling and pulling out of the attacking bandit. Roll the jet at least 90 degrees and then pull max G to get out of the bandit's plane of motion. Bring the throttle back to idle power and put out speed brakes and rapidly slow down and force the bandit to overshoot you. Hold your new plane of motion for 3 to 5 seconds. Then make another plane of motion change by rolling another 90 degrees and pulling. Continue to do these maneuvers at idle power until you get down to 150 knots. Then go full afterburner and take the flight straight up. Other fighter jets don't have the trust capabilities of the F-16 Falcon and they will not be able to stay with you during this maneuver. The vertical maneuver at the pass. As you get to the pure vertical straight up and continue around in a level turn to put your lift vector on the bandit. Now this graphic shows you the two circle flight. The options that we discussed at the past can result in either one circle or two circle flight, which is one of the most common endings of a head-on BFM. If both fighters start at a lead turn, then the fight will go two circle as shown in this graphic, which means that two distinct turn circles are created. To fix the two circle flight path, you can do the one circle flight and break the two circle fight by just going straight and turn away, then the fight goes into one circle. And you will end up at his 6 o'clock. If you are offset, 
from the bandit and turn away you are not using the turning room available and worse yet you are letting the bandit use it. This graphic illustrates why turning away from the bandit will cause you big problems. Okay folks this is the end of this tutorial I hope you like it. The next tutorial will be air refilling or mid-air refilling. I hope you enjoyed and fly safe.